Joao Ferreira, de ANEP, la secretario general de la Asociación Portuguesa de Productores de Pellets. Hola. The floor is yours. Um, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, first of all, AMPEB is the Portuguese Pellet uh, Association. We have 10 associates, uh, which represent 95% of our market. I'm uh, here to present uh, the Portuguese wood pellet market overview. These are the topics I will approach during my presentation. Uh, the geographical distribution, main figures and market trends, the internal and export market characterization, EN Plus status, and also some conclusions, market barriers, and some um, expectations for the future. The, uh, in this uh, image, you can see the geographical distribution of our pellet plants. The colors of the pins um, refer to the pellet production capacity, being the, the dark blue one for um, units with less than five kilotons per year. There are six of those. The red one, five to 22. The green one, 20 to 60. There are five of those. The light blue, 60 to 90. There are five. And for um, production units with capacities over 90 kilotons per year, there are six of those. Um, in some, um, they, they uh, represent 40, uh, 24 uh, pellet production units. Uh, there is a high production uh, density on the country uh, central region, as you can see, uh, by, uh, represented by the orange circle. Um, the production capacity of this area is near to 550 kilotons, about 60% of the total. This uh, strategic location was chosen to, due to raw material availability and low distance to Aveiro Seaport, as you may see later, one of our major uh, export channels for Europe. These are the figures, the main figures. Um, in 2013, we produced 900 nearly um, or about 900 kilotons with an internal consumption of 130 kilotons. We foreseen for this year a production of 1 million tons and an internal consumption increase to 200 kilotons. Uh, this graph shows you the market evolution over the past four years. As you can see, our production raised um, 30% between 2010 and 2013. The exports raised 25% during the same period, and the internal consumption raised 173. But as you may see, the figures are um, yet at 123 kilotons. Okay, so we have an increase, but at um, absolute numbers, we have low uh, internal consumption. This graph shows you the use given f of the pellets uh, produced in Portugal. As you may see, the red line uh, refers to uh, pellets used in power production. Um, the, um, the figures uh, are uh, the same over nearly the same over the, the four period uh, four years period time, but the pellets used for heat, as you can see, uh, suffered a great increase, mainly um, mainly um, after 2012 uh, and the, implement, the implementation of the N plus certification system in, in Portugal. Uh, now, for the characterization of the internal market, we, we consume nearly 100, uh, 130 kilotons. 60% 60 of, of those 
are used in domestic, uh, used for domestic um, applications, from which 90% are traded in 15 kilo bags, um, from which 40% are certified and 60% are not set certified. 10% of the domestic market are uh, established in big bags uh, trade, okay? 40% of our internal consumption are used in industrial heat and other public uh, heat applications. 85% are in, in, in this type uh, of applications, 85% of the pallets are traded in bulk and 15% are traded in big bags. For export, um, we export um, 700, 776 kilotons, 22% of, of those are used in it. Nearly 32% are used at, in the domestic market, and now the main um, export um, ways, 75% um, are exported through road by truck in 50, 15 kilo bags, 10% 10, 10 are traded uh, in big bags by road, and 15% are traded by sea in bulk. 68% of the total heat um, export um, are used for other heat applications, and we don't have the data uh, to, to, to give you um, um, as for the domestic um, market. 78% um, of what Portugal exports uh, is, used for, is used for power generation, um, and it represents uh, 600 kilotons, and the, the, the form uh, of, of export is bulk. The main export channels. The main export channel is Aveiro Seaport, as you can see by the orange circle. Um, we, Leixões and Viana do Castelo up north are also used, but uh, only represent 20% of the gross pellet exports. The main export markets for industrial is North and Central, Euro, Central Europe, uh, mainly UK. And for the domestic market, uh, the, main mark, the main export markets are Spain, Italy, and France. This, uh, this is the list of our um, pellet producers, certified uh, pellet producers. We now have, have seven. Um, the production of EN plus A1 pellets over 2013 was 120 kilotons, and we expect uh, an increase to 150 uh, for 2014. The future perspectives. We expect in Portugal an internal heat market um, development supported mainly on SME industrial heat applications and public buildings, also for domestic, but mainly these two uh, applications. We expect a continuous increase of um, N plus A1 certified pellets market share because Europe is uh, the, the, the demand in Europe is uh, continuously growing. Um, the major barriers for the internal market development is the lowing, the low price, the low selling price of EN plus A1 pellets, which um, give low margins to pellet producers. The lack of incentives from government on fossil fuel replacement initiatives for domestic, public, and industrial applications, and also the pellet VAT uh, are, is still fixed at 23% in Portugal, which, which for, uh, uh, at the same time reduces the, the margin when compared to other um, forms of it. Thank you. This is my the market share. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Yeah. Perfecto.